Hey, what is going on, everybody? JB here with another political video, and today we're going to be talking about how basically ever since what happened with Capitol Hill, which I disagree with, I don't think it should have happened. Um, and I think I'm, I may talk about that a little bit in this video, but that's not the main point in this video. But we'll be talking about how basically Don Lemon and uh, Representative Cory Bush have been calling Trump and Trump supporters terrible, terrible things with literally no fat, no way it's grounded in logic. And I try to point this out because. As a Trump supporter who thinks that he is a great, the, uh, I'm a, the way I can get around to YouTube is saying that you can't say that the, anything about the election. Saying Trump is the best president in my life, and I think he will be for a good while. Um, I don't think Biden's going to be a better president by Trump by a long shot. I think Trump has done so much more for this country. And yeah, I, that's the way I'm going to get around it for now. Um, and yeah. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing, leaving a like and a comment below of how I can do better. I really, really want to get this channel to grow. Um, if you didn't know, I'm back. This is my first video of recording since I got back from my trip yesterday. Um, I have a video later on today talking about how I just got a, a full life-size cardboard cutout of Donald Trump and now he's in my room watching me record. <laughs> it's a little creepy. But yeah, I did it for the meme and I'm going to have a video on that uh, later, later today. Probably like... I, I might have two, hopefully two videos for you guys today, plus that video, so three videos. I wouldn't really call the last one a video, it's just going to come out, but yeah. Um, don't want to keep this up anymore, let's go, let's get into the actual information. So first things first, we'll be looking at Don Lemon, um, and talk, I don't know who this guy is, but he's always next to him. I, I, I'm sure I've heard of his name before, but I just, I don't remember anymore. It's, it's, every time I see a clip of Don Lemon being like, you know, an asshole, um, and a racist, I see this guy next to him saying, oh, 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 white guilt, white guilt, yes, I am very guilty for being white, yes, yes, yes. Suck at the teeth of the black man, mmm, yes. But yeah, let's continue on with this thing, let's, let's watch this real quick. Voted for Trump, you voted for the person who the Klan supported. I disagree. Um, if you've actually, I've actually looked at sort of things that um, the Clanton members have made. Like, I, I, this one guy did a, a video interviewing them, uh, and I, I watched it, and they were saying, they, they asked him about like, um, for instance, in some places in California, and I, I know about it because I live in California. They want to have safe spaces where black people uh, and other races can have their own little safe spaces away from white people, um, and when they. You know, I think the, I think the Klan very much likes that. I don't think that's that's not a Republican or a conservative standpoint. That's a that's a Democrat slash left leaning viewpoint. So I, I disagree. Um, even if some people of the Klan did vote for Trump, I guarantee you some voted for Biden. And I, I do have to say that just as one, a, a group of pe one group of persons, so for instance, they like say say um, a, a killer votes for a Democrat, a mass murderer. Does that mean that all Democrats are mass murderers? I disagree. I don't think that's that, that's a logical fallacy. You voted for the person. No, 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 no. They, they, they really don't. Um, and if you look at Trump's what Trump has said, he, he even if those pe some people of those groups do support him, Trump has said, "Listen, I don't want your support. Don't vote for me. You suck. Get out of the way." And I, I've done videos, so I've shown that before. But literally, it's one of the stupidest arguments. Trump has disavowed uh, white supremacy, neo uh, neo zanies, if you know what I'm saying, and uh, all, just just he he denounced the KKK. The, the members of the clan. He's just. I'm just trying to think ways to rephrase it so you do think about it. I don't like really care anymore. I'm just going to say it the way I want to. But yeah, um, it's just it's so ridiculous. Also, I'm going to be doing a video bringing down a uh, police incident uh, that I saw. Not you won't see that today. You see that in two days after a day a day or so after this. I, I, it's always hard, especially getting back into the recording. But yeah, you'll be seeing that one soon. It's going to be a, a good video. I, I think it's going to be really good. I'm excited for it. Especially excited for YouTube to. Market for swearing because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take the time to bleep the guy is saying the n words which is the black guy or anything like that. I, yeah, so yeah, let's continue on this. Person who Nazis support. Mm -mm. You voted for the person who the the alt right really, really. What about the alt left? You don't hear them talk about them. Oh, sorry, I mean Antifa. And you mean BLM rioters? You mean those people? You mean you? You mean members of the media who like to you know whip up uh, aggression between. Americans because it gets more clicks. I, I don't think it, it's It's just oh my god. It's so crazy alt-right supports That's the crowd that you are in the crowd. I mean, yes I, I totally knew that the people that it's that 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 did the Capitol, which also there has been uh, footage of a CNN Person uh, I, don't, I didn't want to cover it because I'm not sure I like it, it seemed very credible because it was like footage of them doing I may I may re I may include a link to it in the description um, I'm not exactly sure but it was just, 
like there was a CNN person there recording it, saying they were cut sorting things out, and that this is going to be a great video to put up. And there were the BLM and Antifa members talking about how they like just went through and sort of broke into the Capitol, which again I don't think it was the best decision to do. I don't think it was a good thing. I I, I mourn for the loss of everyone who was who who died. I I don't think it was a good thing. Um, even though pl a pl one police officer did was attacked and killed, there was footage of Trump's photos helping police officer out from being pulled in by another Trump. This is, this, this is, it's like this, uh, all of our, uh, like all riots, those people that one, sometimes want to peacefully protest and those ones that don't, not always, but usually in, for instance, the, the Capitol Hill was a large amount of that. There was a lot of people that did not go in. There's a lot of people that stayed outside that helped police officers back into the lines after being pulled down by people that I don't think should associate with the right because they're terrible people. If you if you went there and you rioted and you broke in, I don't think you should do that. Don't do that. For instance, like, there's a thing with like the windows being smashed and those people pulling those people back saying, stop that, stop that. So I, I, I haven't seen that happening at the any BLM riots, uh, sorry, protests or anything like that. So I, I always just see like people saying, yeah, get it, get it. Kick the guy, kick the man, kick the woman, that kind of stuff. So let's continue on this. You voted for the person who incited a crowd. He never told them to go into the Capitol. He said, peacefully protest outside of it. Get your voice heard. He, he, he didn't tell them to go in. And for instance, um, I, I just have to say, you know, you know what? Screw. I, I had a second video. I was uh, planned today. I'm gonna have it connected to this one, um, because it's it's just showing to that's go not into true. the capital. <laughs> go into the capital. Yes, he's telling them to go into the capital. Obviously, no, he didn't. He really didn't. He said, "Stand aside." Vincent, you want to say that? I'm, I'm gonna pull up the clip right after this is done, uh, showing Democrats saying to do that to people. And he goes in to say people taking the lives of potentially taking lives of lawmakers or not. Um, so let me quickly just pause this recording. Okay. Recordings back. I did not want to do that. I want to go to this. And we're going to look at this real quick. We're going to look at Nancy Pelosi. Uh, this is going to be a second video today. But I figure I want to put it with this. And then I'm, I'm also going to make a video. I'm just going to show you this. I'm going to make a video on it separately also. So I'm just going to show a little bit of this. A little sneak peek at this. This beautiful thing. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because I want to make a video out of this two minutes, 20 second clip. I'm going to show you a little bit of it. So let's, let's I, a little I, bit. I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. and Maybe there will be. People need to start taking to the streets. This is a dictator. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there's unrest in our lives. Enemies of the state. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite. Right, I'm going to cut off there. You've seen enough. You can get your lips wet and ready for the video later today. Um, that video is going to be coming out probably two hours after this one. In case you, you watch this when it happens. If you're not, there's another video that you can watch. Cool. Go watch it. Yeah. So yeah, I'm definitely going to watch that. I'm going to have all this stuff. Again, all these are linked in the description. Also, Parler was taken down. Trump's banned on of all social social media, basically. Even YouTube. Um, and it's, it's just so sad. Because he did a thing where he talked about saying, Hey, don't do this. Don't, don't, don't do any future riots because they were worried about a future riot rigging and I don't think it was a full blown riot I think some of it was some of it was a protest but he said don't do anything don't do if, you, if you're listening to me and you th you're thinking about doing something don't do anything you, you're you gonna make him look worse like they, they've already impeached man twice now for one bogus claims and two they're doing that just cause you know they, they want to so I wanna I wanna listen to this one thing real quick and I wanna talk on what she says and then then the video should be done I hope you guys do enjoy it so let's, let's, let's listen to this Wonderful, wonderful woman speak. Oh, he says oh, black. I'm assuming it's black Lives matter on it, but let's listen. Madam Speaker, St. Louis and I rise in support of the article of impeachment against Donald J. Trump. If we fail to remove a white supremacist... All right, she's slandering him with no fact and logic. I think if I call her a white, if I call her a black supremacist, do you think... And, and I said, she right there. What if, I, what if I went out and said, she hates everyone who's not black she she discriminates she wants them to be uh putting my finger across my neck because i don't know if youtube would take it down demonetize it for that i, I don't i don't make money i don't i just always say demonetize youtubers talk about it too much it's rubbing off on me but yeah if i ever say something like that that's slander she's slandering the president for something he has not done and then she slanders me and every other actually no that that was with that other guy said sorry that was what uh don lemon he was slandering all trump supporters and people who voted for trump because we all knew that the capitol hill incident was going to happen we all knew in the future we're going to vote for him and this is going to happen no i i don't think it should have happened i think it should stay peaceful but guess what 
D- did I know that when I was voting for him? No. And if I did, I was, would I vote for him? Yes. Because that, that he didn't incite it. He just, he said, go protest peacefully. He did not say go violently. So what this woman is saying is false. And can we impeach her on slander and lying about the president? <laughs> can we impeach her for spreading falsehood and division among the country? This president who incited a white supremacist. Wrong, 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 wrong. I saw, I saw black people there. I saw people of other races other than just white in the rally. I don't think they, that they should have broken in. And it was not white supremacist rally. Supremacist. Sorry, YouTube. That's just falsehood. There was a guy over there with the Confederate flag. Not a good look. But the Confederate flag does not just deal with slavery. It, I, I've, been, I've visited some places in the South. Where I know people from the South. And they have the flag. And they, it's no, no way tied to slavery. Yes, it has a bad history. But it does. But it also has been re- revamped as a new thing. For, I'm not, it's just... Those things that were used to put people down that people have now used to bring themselves up. That's the thing that, that, that people do. And I, I don't think that the Confederate flag is good in that connotation, the, the slavery connotation. But a lot of people just have the flag in their house chilling because, guess what, they're proud of their, their southern heritage, not that part of the heritage, they're just being from the south. It's very different than being from other places. The south is like one of the, the places that the U.S. was able to rise off of, was able to grow up of. It was a big part of the U.S. and they, they don't they're proud of that not of the slavery thing when they had that flag up so I, I, I don't think that guy should have had a confederate flag but I don't think he, that, that's not him saying black people should be in, in chains put them back in the chains like Joe Biden said that Trump is ready which he, he didn't uh, but let's continue with this insurrection it's communities like Missouri's first district that suffer the most the 117th Congress must understand that we have a mandate to legislate in defense of black lives and no, 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 wrong. Defense of all lives. You are there to support your constituents, which are black, white, Mexican, Arabic. What, 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 what group? Huh? Come on. It's like actually Arabic. Oh, I said Arabic, didn't I? Muslim. I, I, I. But yeah, Muslim, Chaldeans, Arab descent. That's what I meant. Anything like that. Chinese, Japanese. Asian descent, Russian, these are your constituents that you're supposed to, you know, support. Not just black people. I know that's not what she said. I mean, it, it seems like we say we have a right to... to and, and Trump is not against black people. Trump is not against black people. That's what I, I don't get. He, he had a, a, one of the biggest amount of black voter turnout in like the last like 50 or 60 years, I believe. That's insane. Because that's what they realize, hey... He, he likes you guys, and he's not going to just say, oh, I'm not going to help black people. He, he, he's helped HBCUs get permanent funding. He's helped, ma- like, pre-COVID, the lowest unemployment of black people ever, highest ownership of black-owned businesses. It just, it's a spit in the face of what he has done for the black community to say that he is a white supremacist. So you, lady, Cori Bush, you suck. So you need to be quiet. The first step in that process is to... I'm sorry I'm silencing a black woman's voice, but she's a stupid woman. Root out white supremacy, starting with impeaching. I don't agree with white supremacy. I don't agree with black supremacy. I don't agree with any kind of supremacy. But people have the right to believe what they want to believe. I don't think it's right, but you can't force them not to. It's, 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 you can't thought crime piece someone. I, I, I wish there was no racism or supremacy in this entire world. I wish it was all gone like that. But you cannot... You can't, like, for instance, like, one, Trump's not a white supremacist. But two, you cannot say, white supremacist, you go to jail for being a white supremacist. No, you, you can't do that. Unless they do something bad because they, like, you know, attack someone or uh, hire someone incorrectly. Don't hire them. And I know some will be like, oh, well, Trump did that. He didn't. It was just something that was happening to a lot of different investors in, like, the 70s or 60s. So, again, I just want to point out, I'm not defending white supremacists. I'm not def- de- defending racists. I'm saying they have the right to do what they want to do as long as they're not hurting anybody. I disagree with them entirely, but they, they, they should be jailed for it. The white supremacist in chief. He's not a white supremacist. You are racist. You are mis- you're being disingenuous, misguiding a lot of Americans into hating each other. Thank you, and I yield back. I'm from New York. What a dumb ass. 
I'm sorry. I, I, I'm like, I, I don't have any filter because I just got back from a trip. But yeah, Trump is not racist. I want you to change, change my mind if you, if you think he is. I disagree. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I don't know what I'm going to title it yet, but yeah, check me out uh, on my other videos. All the bubbles to them throughout the video you might have already seen. Uh, if you're not, click on click on maybe the cursor or you're, click on the one on the top right to see it. And yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Uh, Orange Man, we, we all know what happened with that. But I'll see you guys next video. Bye, everybody. Stay safe. Trump's a better president than Biden. Peace.